Hello, welcome, good morning. This is Coping with COVID, and this will go no longer than 20 minutes, and I'll change the topic every two minutes. And when people are joining rapidly or watching this in replay, I'm not gonna be able to welcome everybody, but I'm glad you're here. I'd like to know why people are here. One of the, I'm, I'm curious why people are watching, and I'd like, I'd like you to just really be very candid. Uh, hi, Auntie Mary Jane, welcome. I'd like you to be really candid about why you're watching uh, and be candid with your feedback because this is still practice for me. Hi, Jeannie, welcome. Jennifer, hi. This is my practice. Welcome to, uh, this is like watching a little kid do piano practice. I'm so glad you're all here. Um, if you want any future contact with me uh, professionally, you can go to drmarlow.com. And I probably can't help you specifically as a therapist if you're my family or friends, but I can find somebody in your area for you. And uh, this is, uh, there's also, uh, if you're a professional, you can borrow my office manager during this time. Uh, you can go to his website at www.artcher.com. This is the introduction to coping with COVID. Uh, Dr. Marlowe's piano practice for hosting Facebook Live. And right now, this is just a lovely co collection of my family, my favorite niece, Erica. Yay, hello. Uh, I'm gonna switch topics every two minutes. And this first topic is just an introduction. Just the introduction. Uh, Stacy, my sister across the nation, um, that is happy. I'm happy to have you here, Marsha, as well. We're on the second segment now for Coping with COVID, and that second segment is Character Strengths. There is a really great website called, um, uh, well, I don't know what it's called, but the website address is viacharacter.org. They've got a free survey that you can take that you can find out what your character strengths are. Now it's really no risk because it's free and you do have to enter your name, but um, I, they're really collecting data for research and it's positive research, so I trust these people. Um, you don't have to sign up for their newsletter. You can, I have. It, um, there's a lot of uh, helpful, useful things that they, uh, that they send and it will tell you what your character strengths are. Now, um, it doesn't really um, tell you, it's limited to 24 character strengths. There are six domains. Uh, one of the domains is wisdom, and in that domain uh, there is creativity, curiosity, judgment, love of learning, and perspective. Another domain is courage, and that includes bravery, perseverance, honesty, and zest. Another one is humanity. It includes love, kindness, social intelligence. Another domain is justice. It includes teamwork, fairness, leadership. Uh, another one is temperance. It includes forgiveness, humility, prudence, and self-regulation. Uh, another one is transcendence. It includes appreciation of beauty, like this beautiful sunrise I'm getting right now. Uh, it, it's appreciation of beauty and excellence, actually. Uh, gratitude, hope, humor, and spirituality. So this is fantastic. I wanted to be here and have natural light, and I certainly have that. <laughs> and in a minute, I'm not going to be able to see. So um, I'm going to just hunch down, and that's going to be weird. But um, the next, this is our third segment. Uh, the third segment continues with the character strengths, and it it goes to identifying a way that you can use at least one of your strengths today. So I just listed off those strengths. There are the 24, uh, there's a 24, um, I'm sorry, there's a 20, 24 list, 24 characteristics. And uh, thank you so much for being here for my piano practice. This, this is my practice on Facebook Live and um, Here's a really great learning experience is that if you're gonna use natural light, uh, it changes while you're using it. So I'm still in round three, which is how to 
identify a way to use one of your strengths. Now, one of my strengths might be creativity, and you're going to watch me over the next uh, 17 minutes or so figure out how will I deal creatively with the rising sun. And I'm just going to welcome it and uh, have it be here for beauty and inspiration. Um, one of Another one of my strengths that I use is humor, and I, I really hope you're all laughing because this is hysterical. Um, please laugh, laugh at yourself, laugh at me. Uh, don't laugh at people who are suffering. I, I'm not suffering. I'm, I might be mildly embarrassed, but you know, I'm not really. I'm, I'm practicing. I've decided to practice live. Uh, you guys are all here watching that. And all of you are adults that can leave at any time. So I can trust you to do what's right for you. And if this is silly and ridiculous, you can make a choice to do something else. And that's a really good idea during these difficult times. My fourth segment is gratitude. So um, I'm gonna be grateful for the birds and I'm gonna be grateful for my flexibility to just change the angle a little bit so that I can continue to go on. You'll see our barbecue grill, which was not exactly what I wanted to have in the picture, but there it is and it's lovely. Um, round four is gratitude. Um, this is both a positive characteristic and a, a positive emotion and a care and a positive uh, character characteristic. <clears throat> I'm gr I'm grateful for my ability to laugh at myself and to put myself forward uh, and to let you laugh with me. Somebody put the little laughing icon. I love that. Um, Please be grateful for everything you have today. I am grateful for this beautiful rising sun. It is going to uh, power everything in my life today. Uh, the sun powers plants and plants are going to feed me today. And uh, the sun fo uh, focuses its energy on <laughs> but the sun focuses its energy on um, uh, solar panels that people are using. And uh, I'm grateful for people who have a sense of humor, who want to say, uh, you know, songs like, here comes the sun. I think we should all sort of break into song right now. Um, everybody at home, break into your own rendition of here comes the sun, because here it is again. Now, this is a really good metaphor for COVID as well. It's like, this stuff is coming. You can pretend it's not, but it is going to keep coming. And you can try to move and hide, and, and you should, like, like I'm going to do now so that I can see again. Um, but it's still gonna keep coming. Oh, now we've got our, um, here's our, our tools for our gardening. <laughs> Thank goodness, uh, my gratitude is now that we've moved into segment five, hey, which is about movement. How serendipitous. This segment is about movement. During this time with COVID-19, is everybody needs to have some movement. So I'm gonna just back myself up here and lead some movement. If you can get up, do so if you're stuck where you are, stay where you are. But uh, do some stretches. Just come up over here. Stretch. Uh, just let yourself have that. So here's another learning moment. If you're gonna wear stupid pants, don't get up out of your chair. <sighs> some stretch stretch your neck we are spending so much time in front of computers that we have got to stretch our neck and our shoulders that's where we hold all of our tension not where we hold all of our tension we hold a fair amount of our tension in our belly as well but we hold tension in our neck and shoulders Stretch that now. And you don't have to do this stretch. You can do any stretch you want. That's using your, your creativity and your flexibility. This is this is also a good stretch for a lot of computer things. 
opening up the chest and the shoulders. We spend all this time hunched over. We gotta stretch this out. So now I'm on the sixth segment, and that is, um, let's see, oh, teach, teach your skills to others. Each and every one of you has all kinds of skills. Now you, you like I, I always hear people, oh no, I don't, I'm not good at anything. But absolutely every single one of you has skills. Oh, Destiny, look, I'm wearing these earrings that you made. Um, so that's what my, my cousin Destiny makes earrings. Uh, she makes uh, tumblers. She, uh, oh my gosh, she makes everything. Um, you have skills. Teach your skills to other people during this time. Now, I know that we're often uh, right now stuck in our homes or apartments and don't have a lot of access to other people, but lots of you have kids and you can teach your skills to your kids. And they don't have to be like fantastic skills. I mean, you don't have to teach them how to use uh, a lathe like uh, my, my grandfather used a lathe. Uh, but that would be, actually, that would be a really good skill, although lathes are kind of hard to come by and you'd have to have one. But anything you know how to do, knitting, crocheting, cooking, cleaning, organizing, working on cars, working on computers, crossword puzzles, identifying bird calls, anything that you know how to do, teach other people how to do it right now. Um, my Auntie Mary Jane, who's watching, uh, has been a, a, a teacher, a daycare uh, owner. She knows how to run businesses. She can teach that to people right now. Um, Michelle Binsler, who's on this call, uh, I believe I've watched her in a play that was um, fantastic. So you can teach people how to act. Lori Martin is a biblio therapist. She can teach people how to do bibliotherapy right now. Teach people how to do what you know how to do. Uh, seventh segment is consolidate. Okay, so the phrase has been around since, I remember it since the 70s. Uh, maybe I'm not correct on that, but the reduce, reuse, recycle. First of all, reduce. Um, this is a great time to stop using a lot of things that you used daily that you do not need. I know you want and you like and they're lovely, but you don't need them. So when you're having to deal now with places that are closed and you can't get your daily whatever, ask yourself, did I really need that thing? Probably not. Um, and maybe I, I know I'm gonna argue with the coffee people right now, but you you probably didn't particularly need that thing. So reduce what you're using and consuming uh, from the earth. Then uh, reuse. My great grandma Erdman was just uh, an expert in this. When you went into her house, every things not everything, uh, lots of things she had were something else before. So uh, she'd have like a, a coffee can on her counter and it was covered in beautiful paper and it was like a little wastebasket. And um, you know, what a clever little thing. We all work at our counters and we you know throw garbage here, garbage there. Cause why? Cause we're too lazy to go four more feet to the garbage. But she had a little wastebasket on her counter. So please, everything that you have in your house uh, can be used for something else. Challenge yourself to learn that. Uh, also, recycling. Now we've got uh, in you know in the states, uh, re recycling is getting um, confusing and dicey because lots of things are changing, and we don't know what can we put in the bin and what can't we put in the bin. Try to just uh, be sane about that. You know separate your stuff as best you can, hang on to it until you know where you can send it safely, where it will be used productively. And uh, we're, we're still moving every two minutes to a new segment and to a new location because of the rising sun. This is the eighth segment, which is teach your skills to others, which is fantastic. I did this one already, so I skipped one somewhere. Uh, I skipped six, so I'm going back to six. You don't know, you don't care. Uh, six is collaborate. 
I have been absolutely flabbergasted by how many people want to watch these, my live practices using Facebook uh, Live. So I am feeling like there's some push to continue doing this, um, but I don't think in this, in this present form it's necessarily workable or usable or, you know, so it's gonna keep morphing. And I am collaborating with each and every one of you, the feedback that you give me about the audio or the video or what parts that you like about it or why are you watching, all of that collaboration during a time like this is a really great idea. So you have people in your family, in your friend group, that you can collaborate with right now on ideas for your own coping. You might just be walking around your house saying, oh my gosh, I just don't know what I'm gonna do for another day in this, in this situation. And you can connect with people and collaborate. So I'm seeing that my Aunt Mary Jane and Holly are both on here together and they're uh, just connecting with each other. They had a great collaboration on a number of really important things and that those relationships that you built before this, they aren't gone just because you can't see the person or can't be with them physically. The ninth segment is meditation. Is I'm gonna have a, a, a moment of meditation right now for us. So please make yourself comfortable. Quiet yourself. Place your hands in a comfortable position maybe on your lap and just take a deep breath in. and release it. Take another breath in. And release it. And another breath in. And release. Imagine that the sun that's creeping into this video is just shining on your face right now. Take in that bright, beautiful sun. That same sun that's shining here is shining where you are too. Even in Wisconsin where it's rainy, the sun is still there. It's still there, it's behind the clouds, but it's still there. Now that's a very short meditation. You can do long meditations. There's meditations on YouTube. You can find all sorts of guided meditations for free. When you're feeling stressed and freaked out, find you a little meditation for a minute or two and just do that. This last segment is once again integration, taking in everything that this is. So I would say I'm taking in today uh, the idea of flexibility and being willing to morph and change with the constant times. Uh, I think all the news that comes through with COVID is changing every 20 minutes. Uh, I'm not watching any of it. Uh, I check in with some sort of news once a day and then I just live in my world as best I can. And I move and morph and try to do whatever is next. I'm grateful for those things. I'm trying to teach other people my skills just by role modeling. I, I taught today, I hope, um, the ability to laugh at yourself, use your strengths, teach your strengths to others, collaborate with others, connect with yourself and your family, your friends, strangers, acquaintances, just because we're separated doesn't mean we can't still connect. Thank you.